Here are top foods that on a normal day should be avoided assiduously by diabetics and pre-diabetics. But in this very video, I want to mention the foods and tell you smart ways to start incorporating them and enjoying them so as to avoid, you know, nutrient deficiency or minerals deficiency, as earlier stated in my earlier video. So there are fruits, very healthy fruits, but very, very high in glycemic index. Such fruits include bananas, ripe bananas. If you're a pre-diabetic pre -diabetic or you're a diabetic, banana should be a no-go area for you. But I have good news for you, my dear. You can safely consume your banana by also pairing it up with chia seed. If you don't like to spoil the taste of your banana because of the, I mean, bland taste of the chia seed, you can take the chia seed before the banana or you can chew some cloves immediately after the banana or you can even sprinkle some cinnamon on the banana because cinnamon helps with natural insulin production and additionally, you can also boil some guava leaves and keep it by your side. These are top foods that you can use. Foods like, fruits like uh, tamarind. Tamarind is a very healthy food. One of the top foods that supports liver health, supports overall health, anti-aging effect, has almost, in fact, does almost everything with anti-inflammatory properties. But unfortunately, it's high in sugar. And on a normal day, it should be avoided by diabetics and pre-diabetics. But you can put, pair it up with cloves. Soak it and soak it along with your cloves. Or consume it together. It won't spike your sugar. Add some cloves to it. What about your watermelon? Watermelon is one of the dangerous fruits also on a normal day. But should, you shouldn't avoid all of them. You can sprinkle some cinnamon. Cinnamon helps with natural insulin production. Sprinkle some cinnamon on your, on your watermelon and don't consume it too much. You can also, also blend some uh, cloves and mix it up with it or chew it just after, the, 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 after taking your, your watermelon. And the same thing applies to most of the sugary fruits. The same thing applies when you consume any such fruits that are high in sugar. Banana is one of them. Watermelon is one of them. In fact, what about mangoes? Mango is a seasonal food. It's a superfood. Very rich. But, my dear, it's also high, very high in sugar. It's one of the foods that ought to be avoided. But, my dear, don't stop avoiding it. Go get this, some of these foods that are great for lowering your blood sugar naturally. And pair it up. Either you, uh, you take it together or immediately after or before. It's not going to spike your sugar. I've tested a good number of them. And the better part of it, this is a seasonal food. So it won't always be there for you to be spiking your sugar. There is a reason why those seasonal foods are there. So we don't have to rob ourselves of all this seasonal food. There is a reason why the seasonal foods are in season each time. Modern nature knew why it, these foods are out. So help with some elements you may not know or understand. And so why avoid them? There are smart ways. And I mentioned some of them. The top food that can help you. You can even, even green tea. It's, it's a great one. If you take green tea, it's good in lowering blood sugar. Mint tea is also one of the teas that can help you lower blood sugar naturally without any side effect. If you have taken any of those, uh, any of such foods that you think will naturally spike your sugar, you go and take, just start chewing your clothes right away. That's what I do. Recently, I was, uh, I had to finish a bowl of rice. Even had to, I mean, top it up with another bottle of drink which is also a sugary one. But guess what? I chewed some cloves, and thereafter, I had a cup of Mr. to tea, which is an anti-inflammatory tea. It's a, an inflammation-fighting tea. And I, at the end of the day, I slept, woke up. My sugar was normal. 
Very, very normal. That's what we're saying. And so, on a normal day, you should say, I should avoid rice. I stopped avoiding. There was chicken dough in it. You have to add chicken and some vegetables if you want to eat your rice. Add chicken, add uh, vegetables. Then take it up with uh, some other blood sugar. You can cook it with cinnamon. You can add ginger and turmeric spices. These spices will help. And better still, you can even prepare it with your coconut oil. Coconut oil also helps with, uh, I mean, insulin. It helps control insulin resistance. In most of because it aids digestion. And so you don't have to continue to avoid everything and be missing out. By the end of the day, some important minerals will be missing also in your body. And so in order to boost your immune, immune system, whenever these seasonal foods are out, don't, I mean, don't cheat yourself. Start taking them, but pair them up with blood sugar lowering foods. Don't, meet, don't, don't fail to do that. If you do that, you're not going to, to have any spike in your blood sugar. That's what I've been doing. So that you don't lose out. Enjoy your mangoes in moderation. One mango is okay. Enjoy your bananas. Stop avoiding all of them. They are quite high in sugar. Your pineapples, they are all sorts of sugar. Even oranges. If you take orange, which is also a source of fiber, and you suspect the sugar is much, go ahead and chew your clothes. That's what I do. Before you take any of them, you can soak some clothes around and enjoy yourself. Boost your immunity when the seasonal foods are there. Stop avoiding, avoiding this, avoiding that. Most of the fruits, almost all the fruits are high in sugar. Like I said, almost all the fruits, mention it, are high in sugar. And so how long will you continue to avoid all of them and then over time, there will virtually be nothing for you, for you and I. And so, go ahead. Even if you need to take bitters, yes, to back it up with bitters. We have bitters. And in case you don't even like the bitters, there are several foods and drinks, more than the ones I mentioned, that can naturally tone down your blood sugar without allowing the effect of that a sugary fruit or food to settle in your bloodstream. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. And if you like this message, why not hit the follow button for more?